Hey Transformers fans, Optimus Prowl here with another Transformers video review. Here we have... Sorry about that. Here we have Autobot Prowl, who is obviously, yet again, a white and black police car. Just like his old G1 self. So, for this mode, you can obviously see that these panels are darker than this panel. reason for that is that... <sighs> This part got tacky paint because it's got bad paint apps and it collects the dust off of people's fingers. So all this dark stuff is dust. I'm planning to redo this with some white paint, but in the meantime, he's just going to have to stay like this. Uh, I've added a different Autobot symbol that looks more red than the one he comes with. His is orange, not sure why, but whatever. That's what you get. Um, so for detailing, he's got clear plastic headlights. He's got a clear plastic red light bar on the top. His windows are clear plastic except for the back windows, but are also semi painted with some kind of amber or brown spray paint. Not exactly sure which, but that clouds up the inside and almost makes it look like there could be car seats here and here. Uh, on the back he's got plastic red tail lights. I'm not sure if they're see-through. I don't think so. They look like they're just painted on. He's also got highway patrol and police along the side of the car. So let's get to the transformation. First thing you want to do is take apart his backside and flip it all the way out like so. And you're going to pull out the feet and you're going to flip up the panels for the heels like so. Do the other one. Now you want to make sure you pull out the whole the foot all the way so that he can actually stand because I've heard people having problems with not pulling his feet out all the way and it makes him look kind of stumpy. So that's it for the legs. You basically have the bottom half of him transformed right here like this. Alright, now for the top half. The doors are where it gets a little tricky. You want to pull them out and a little forward like so and if you want to just pop them off. Now mine are a little different. I modded the front of the doors so that they're missing the front headlight on the car. And I just glued this piece on to make his chest a little more uh, thick in robot mode. Alright, so you're just going to fold this over, put that aside, pop this other door off, uh, fold that over like so, so it's behind the door, and just put that off to the side. Now, for the front mode, you're going to go underneath, Pull out the arms, flip them around, pull out the other arm, flip it around, reposition it, reposition it, get the hand straight. And then you're going to go up to the top, you're going to push on the head lightly from the bottom and it should just flip out on its own and then just put that back into place. Pop it away from the roof of the car and just move it down into place like so. The joint can be a little tight on the top part with his chest, so be careful of that. Um, then you're going to move the roof up into position, and you're going to put the doors back on their little hinges here. So let's reconnect those, pop those back on, like so. And there you have Prowl in robot mode. Now for features, he should have had a gun. I'm not sure where that went. Must have fallen out during transformation or while it was carrying him. But he's got a fold-out gun that is supposed to go underneath him in vehicle mode that was obviously not there, and I can't find it now. But his other feature is move back the hood, like so, and he has flip-out missile launchers, just like his G1 form. Except his G1 form, missile launchers were removable. Just repositioning the arms there. Now, obviously, you can see that his head sits up a little high. This is due to him having a super large black piece that flips his head out. Some people don't like it. I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me too much. So, that's all up to the interpreter's vision, I guess. Now, obviously, as you can see, I've done some touch-up painting. I did put some silver on his shoulders and a little silver in his forehead crest there. 
And then I also darkened in some spots with some black Sharpie. That's temporary, though. I'll be doing that with regular black paint later. Other than that, his details are generally the same as they were in robot mode. He has a little more silver down here on his uh, pelvis section and some red going down like so. Uh, it said like so in that part. Okay. Um. Anyway, I also painted the tops of the tips of his launcher silver. If they weren't painted, then they'd be completely white. And other than that, that is Prowl from Universe Classics, and I definitely recommend picking him up. He's a great figure, good articulation. Uh, he can rotate forward at the shoulder, backward at the shoulder, in and out at two joints in the shoulder. Uh, he rotates at the elbow and bends at the elbow, and he also rotates at the wrist. His head has full 360 degree rotation, but it's hard to get him going backward and it feels like his head might pop off, so I'm not going to do that. Um, his legs go forward, backward, in, and out and in at the uh, hip, sorry, and uh, they bend at two joints at the knee. And then, of course, his feet have some movement down here, and they bend backward and forward. Other than that, that's it for Universe Prowl. Keep an eye out for my other Classics Universe reviews. They'll be coming up soon, uh, probably to you on either Cybertron.com or TFW. And that's it for this review. That's it. Thanks. Bye.